Hey, look at me. I can't see. Look at me. I can't see. You scared? Yes, I am scared. <laughs> you shook me. You're getting pranked right now. <laughs> A man can become successful without a wife and family, but all the real joy is taken out of it. Take care of your wife and children as your greatest possession. I, I gotta elevate. Hey, YouTube. Uh, how y'all doing today? I am extremely exhausted. I'm tired. Oh, I've been under the weather for a minute. I um, overextended myself like two days in a row working, get, dealing with this car. First I went uh, the one day to get the batteries and stuff. And then I went back again the next, no, I take that back. I didn't go back the next day. I had to do something else. I supposed to went back that next evening because it was a car show and everything else that evening. So I um, did all my running and stuff during the day. Uh, got like a half an hour of sleep and then I uh, got up vacuumed out Ice's truck, vacuumed out my Camaro I'm trying to follow these signs my first time ever here at this store here that you guys are about to see and then um, from there uh, my boys had hair appointments so I had to go take them to get their hair cuts so I did that Then um, what else I had to do? <clears throat> okay, uh, had to feed them. Then since my boys got to go to the barber shop get their hair uh, done, I wanted to do something for Ness, so I tried to get in touch with my brother <clears throat> and his daughter. So I ended up calling his daughter's mother to see if I could go we'll take her over there so she could see her at least, since I was going to be out and about. End up going over to my brother's house and he breeds uh, Rottweilers. So we went to go see the dogs and whatnot. And he has two dogs that are pregnant right now that have two litters on the way. So let me turn this around so I can talk to you guys and let you see what I'm looking at at the same time. So you guys can see where I'm at. I'm at Summit, Summit Racing. There's a big store. I had to come here to get some parts and figure out which way to park curbs I pick up. No, nope, I'm going the wrong way still. Let's see. Can I park right here? Yeah, I ended up going over to my brother's house and kicked it with him and stayed over there a little too long because I still had to get ready to go to the car show and get some footage for y'all there. Plus, I wanted to get some footage of the car moving around doing this, uh, doing this do. It's a big store, look at all this stuff. Wow, I got stuff here. I'm gonna say Griffin. Yep, that's all my parts. I want all Griffin parts. So anyway, I um, little Brock racing. Wow, look at this car right here. Anyway, so I'm not boring you guys. 
Let me go ahead and go in here and see if they have all my parts that I need. Get some footage of what all they have in store here at Summit Racing. Open Labor Day. Oh, wow. I want to go in these books before I leave. Turbos, exhaust, intake manifold, it's like a carburetor, it's distributor, it's pretty much all stuff I kind of need, but kind of Milwaukee tools, stuff that I need, but I'm not going to, wow, look at this, I'm not setting up the car for racing, and this thing here, and they got it on the little turn style. Nice. Hmm. I bet this is somebody here in the car or something like that. Wow. All kind of stuff. Look at all this. If you don't know what you're doing, you come here and figure it out, I guess. I need some of these here. Probably not that, you know, that strong of them, but I do need those. I need all kind of stuff like this to chrome out. I'll do that for the next motor. So the top end looks like something similar to that. Wow. Got some stuff in here. Suspension. And this, is this a, if I was a guess, I would say a 59 Impala. It's got that same color scheme, the white with the red interior. I see. It says it on it. Oh, it doesn't say on there what it is. All right. It's nice. I'm really curious if I, if I caught and got it right. His wings on the back is similar, it's the same. With uh, it, those little fans on the back there. The 59 and the 60 had them. And I believe it's a 50 because it's, I'm sorry, 59 and a 60. Yeah, I think I hope that's what I said. But the 60 had a rocket on the side of it, I believe. By any chance, so you know what year car this is? 59. 59, I got it right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, now let's see. I have to go get off of here so I can get on the phone and call the guys and see exactly everything I need. Oh, this is like a damn toy store, store for a grown up. Oh, look, they got all of them. I knew I shouldn't have came in here. So it just went to AutoZone. Now I'm looking at all this stuff here. I don't know if I'll... What type of air cleaner would I want to put on there? What kind of valve cover that I want. This is... Don't need all that. Stuff here. It's not a Chevy. I doubt they have, because they don't even make Oldsmobile anymore. So I thought they'd have that. It's a Chevy motor though, but that kind of wouldn't look right. They have the Chevy stuff on it, side of an Oldsmobile. Wow, they got a rose gold. Hmm, that'd be cool if I rose gold with it though. They have those. Hmm, real nice. Got some more over here. That guy, he about to build him something. Let me get my stuff together so I can go and get about my business. I ain't, ain't got all day for all this. I don't have to bring y'all in here another time. Oh, they got the hinges and stuff. I do want some chrome hinges. Starters. 
differential covers for the rear of one like that too. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff they got here, the alternator chromed out. Heads. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back with y'all in just a second. Let's look at all this stuff. Oh, caliper covers. Mm -hmm. Motor mounts. So. I guess you just go up to this thing and oh look at that exhaust. So let me go ask for some help. Okay. okay, so what you do is you get in line and you tell them which parts you want. And I guess uh, they figure it out, you figure it out with them what you want to do or which parts to get so yeah they just go back and get the parts for you i guess i don't know about to find out go in the middle and wait for the next available source to do all kind of stuff over here all right well y'all got a whole bag full of goodies here did pretty good as far as prices too i was with a film leaving up from out of there but um, I was on the phone with my partner Kevin, my brother Kevin. He was walking me through some stuff. Cause look how big this building is. See all that? That's a big freaking building. Well, got down on here. Uh, get on this highway. Drop these parts off. And go home and get me some sleep but i love this store man this store i walking out smiling and stuff the guy that checks your bags on the way out was uh joking joking with him a little he bit he was like i bet you I, was, he's like, yeah, I bet you found everything you was looking for i was like yeah and then some he's like you spent too much did you i was like nah not this time i said he said well, you know you can always come back i said yeah and i'll make sure i come back broke Cause shit, you come in here and buy everything, man. It, it's one of them stores like a kid in a candy store. This is my new uh, Toys R Us. I'm telling you, this this store has it all. Everything that you see that everybody else might have, or some shit you seen that you like. You know what? When I'm when I get my money right, I'm gonna get this, or, or I'm gonna do this. And shh, this store motivates you. I need to stop by this store every day. I go to work. Shit. This damn store is a motivator. I'm telling you, Summit, and then Kevin was telling me that it's only a few of them in the country. And so we kind of blessed to have one this close to us in Texas. So knowing that, that, it's, that they're rare, you got to pick the right time to come because I've rolled past this and this parking lot has been way deeper and thicker than what it is now. I actually here on a good time and the fact that, you know, our, our work schedule, this is the time I'd have to come now that I know better. But anyway, uh, next time we'll walk through it a little slower and I can show y'all some of everything they got in there. And then maybe, you know, we can start picking out stuff for the 350 because uh, Real got, has a car show. Uh, y'all go to, uh, check him out, my brother's Real to Real. Him, Sugar Man on it. I'm not sure if Real's going or not, but I know Sugar Man, Sugar Man on it and uh, 
uh, Stunner Reese has the Box Chevy Wars on the 31st. And Real, I believe, is going to it. I believe. He was on a flyer before. But anyway, it's coming. Uh, we, I, Me and Rail had a long talk. Stayed on the phone for over an hour about uh, some different stuff that's going on between us and our, uh, uh, with the car and different shows and stuff like that. So I'll be getting that motor soon. And that means we're going to dial that motor up. That's going to be the motor that we put in it for the power and also for not you know it's not going to be no run or nothing but it's going to be a sound good it's going to get up and get out there still too and um then i want it to look real good look real pretty there's no sense in dialing up a 305 and i mean that motor i can break it down and have it all done up right so anyway let me get out of here and i get back with y'all when we get to the car all right turn this back on i'm off the freeway now so I know my way from getting off the freeway to get here. But, uh, yeah, it's, as many times I've been here, I still have to use my GPS just so I know where the traffic is, for one, and also make sure I don't make any wrong turns. But um, that freeway is so much construction that it's scary, even without trying to film. So that's why I don't film when I'm on the freeway coming or going from here. But... In the midst of all that, I got a text message from uh, DJ Ron, the mechanic. He um, had sent me a picture of some stuff he'd done to his uh, his car. He'd done some stuff with one of the hoods, so painting it. Uh, he got some blue accents to it now. Uh, Y'all go check him out. He's on YouTube. DJ, DJ Ron, the mechanic, I believe. I don't think it's DJ Ron, the mixer. Try both of them. You'll see. I believe it's DJ Ron, the mechanic. Shout out to him and... Uh, Nancy B, his wife, she also has a YouTube channel. I think it's Nancy B, the scratcher. And I think that has to do with the scratch-off tickets she buys. But, yeah, she does a lot of uh, lives and stuff like that and skits. Uh, watch quite a few of them. Uh, but DJ Ryan, cool cat, can't wait to hook up with him. Yeah, out, out there in Georgia. Um, I'm trying to think who else... We got a couple of collabs that we're working on. Uh, shout out to five to the ten. Our brother is supposed to be doing some lives with him and some some Q and A's and skits and stuff like that. Just got to uh, meet up. Our, our our work schedules be kind of throwing us off a little bit. So and then he he works just as much as I do. So for the time for us to find, for us to do some filming, it'd be like really a relaxation time because we didn't work all week and work hundreds of hours and stuff. So well, we gonna figure it out. They just built them a new house and uh, it's real nice. Uh, he's getting some other stuff done to his garage. He's gonna about to get a weight room. Uh, he already had three car garages attached to the house and he built a two car garage detached with a weight room in the back of it he also has a full court basketball in the backyard too so yes yeah, there's plenty of footage over there um so we got some videos coming that coming y'all way from there um I'm trying to think who else of course we're gonna meet up with realty on 24s y'all shout out to him too y'all go check check him out on his youtube channel he's blowing up uh we see him almost every well can see them just about almost every week since we attend most of the same car shows and uh car meets that's been going on besides that we're gonna be hanging out too um then i got uh partner uh deep money shout out to him he doesn't have a youtube channel but i gotta give y'all y'all he was the one in a few videos yeah he's been in a couple videos more than a couple quite a few videos and he had the trike the three-wheel bike and now he has this new like car looking like thing man it's something good it's nice he got it all he got it all painted up and done up and stuff so we got to do a review on that he's been inviting us out now he didn't move closer to where we used to live so now we down been a little closer to where he used to live so we kind of swap spots almost but we'll link up we're gonna link up 
Uh, then I told y'all about Real. We got some stuff going on with him. Uh, we got a lot of stuff, good stuff coming on. Some 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 bangers on their way. Then I'm gonna have some sit down talks with you guys and start telling y'all, talking, uh, you know, letting y'all into my inner thoughts of what's going on. It's a lot of stuff that I wanna discuss. So we'll get into that too. Police, Fort Worth police. So yeah, we can get into that. And, um, then of course the car content. I'm gonna try to hit as many shows as I can as long as I'm not working. I signed up to work this weekend, which is a uh, Labor Day weekend. And my luck, I get it, but I really don't want it. But I do. It's, it's a you know coin toss. I don't care if I get it, I get the money. If I don't, then I get to get y'all some footage. So. I mean, I'll make the best out of whatever's going to be uh, dealt my way. But from now on, everything's going to be intentional. And I think that's the reason why I never did finish that Camaro or got into that Camaro the way I wanted to is because uh, I don't know how you guys' mind operate, but sometimes people's minds operate with... Hey, Nick, am I cursing on three wheels or you got the jack up under? Looks like it's on three wheel motion. Oh, the jacks up on here. So anyway, um, yeah, you, 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 you set out to do a task or whatnot, and so that to relieve the pain of failing or whatnot, you kind of be like, oh yeah, well I didn't really try, or I yeah I did it like this and that because uh, I didn't want to do this and that, and that's kind of how that Cutlass, I mean a uh, Camaro went. Besides the fact of the money situation that was going on. Um, when we got that car, we was in a one-bedroom apartment. We wasn't even in that house that we last uh, filmed in. And it was just some stuff going on. But I'm going to let all y'all in on one of these talks. Um, one of these videos, I'm going to sit down and just pull the camera out and just talk to you guys. But it's a lot. Got a lot of footage that we can be starting to drop. So, uh, let me get out and call him. Let him know I'm here. Get these parts we got back here. And uh, see what it do. Hopefully they had this other motor pulled by today and then we'll put the new one on, put the new one in. I guess they're gonna put it in tomorrow. They're gonna have to because it's gonna rain. So here we go. All right, that was nice and quick and easy. Just gave them the parts and they got the car up in the air somewhat. So it's not uh they're taking off the rear cylinders to put the new cylinders in there's not really much to see can't play with it right now because the rear cylinders aren't in see they got it kind of posed on three wheels really not nothing to see so so that's why I didn't do any filming just handed them the stuff uh, they still haven't pulled the uh, old motor out they said they started on it and it's gonna have it done but it started raining on them so we did get a little bit of rain yesterday I guess apparently so now I can go home get in the bed it's time to pick the kids and kiddos up. So, uh, we're gonna conclude this video. A helicopter. See that? Must be leaving a base around here somewhere. Yeah, we're just gonna conclude this video and we'll get another one started up off of whatever goes on next. So, I'm not sure what's gonna be the next video. We'll see. Got stuff in, under my, in my sleeve, so we'll see what we go to do. Okay, so until next time, y'all stay chill. And we'll be back on another video. I'm trying to drop these bangers left. Oh man, I gotta film that car. They got three low riders sitting in the yard. And every time I pass by, I be knowing that them cars are there. It's still on freaking film. But anyway, all right, y'all take it easy. Peace. You gon' see car content and family vibes. You better subscribe. Yeah. Griffin family be all in, all in, all in, all in. Griffin.
life and family be all in, all in, all in. Subscribe to the channel.